Right. <laughs> Uncultured swines. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah. You can, you can even say degenerates. Uh, uh, but so. that, that could actually... Well, I mean, I don't know if you guys wanted to, but we could add... We could go right into Shokugeki with that. If you want, <laughs> sure. And we can... Yeah. I mean, I'm fine with that, because, like... Okay. okay I'm a, yeah, I'm okay with tr- transition to Shokugeki, but yeah, like, off of that, like... I don't know, man. It's just, like, after, like, uh, the end of the, like, last episode where they brought in uh, uh, Arena's dad... Yeah. Dude, immediately, like the hype and just like anticipation for these episodes, we like, all just, like, like went away. We're, we're all just like so, like just like just I don't know, like our uh, it just got deflated, like after yeah. the, the end of the last our last week podcast. And the thing that makes me so mad, like that that defends like the pre- like the or not, it, it's basically defends your previous point that people are shooting at Shogakuki. Damn uh, it, guys! Well, why did you have to do this? I know, but why? Why did you have to prove them right? <laughs> Dude, like this episode too, uh, like when they brought the two new judges and they did like ugh, the, 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 the injury ugh, like God. segment, it's like okay. I know oh, this is a fanservice anime, right. but even that was like that, really that's unnecessary. Yeah. They're trying too hard. Yeah. Yeah. Way to get rid of the dudes, man. Jesus. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> But it's like sexist as people. <laughs> but it's like at least like you can understand like the Fugazi was part of it's been there from the beginning. So like you, it's part of the appeal of the series. Like you, I understand why they do it because it's been there. But like the whole like yeah, just the underwear part, just like yeah. Just, even if I actually show like this, it's so unnecessary. Yeah, like what I yeah. I'm, I'm trying to think like what was that trying to relate to? I actually don't understand. To how, I just some fans like low, low, low effort fan service as well. Fan service to be fan service. That's a, yeah. That's what I thought too. Uh, was trying to relay how it, uh, all the <laughs> the tastes and whatnot uh, <sighs> felt around their bodies. I guess. Um, yeah. Well, apparently, this yeah, this creator is a ma- this this creator is a ma- uh, master in um, laundry. Apparently, this guy's been definitely well, been creeping. He's the manga author. He used to be. I'm pretty sure he used to be a hentai artist. Creep. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> Oh, makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. I did not know that. Pretty, uh, dude, a lot, a lot of uh, manga, uh, like a lot of the etchy ones, start off as hentai artists. What's uh, what's this? What's this guy's name? I need to do uh, I I need research. research then. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw a comment from like people mentioning somewhere like he used to be an anti artist. Oh yeah, you know that guy. You, you know that guy's now. He's in the know. That's now holy shit. Yeah, I don't yeah. like. There's there's plenty of examples. I just don't know what, but like there's plenty of examples. Of other authors. Oh. They start off as hentai and they move on to like I'm pretty sure Monster Monster Mizume guy was trying hentai. Oh, oh. Yeah. definitely. I'm I'm a, I dabbled in, a, in that manga. I, I could say it, it was pushing it. Well, I guess uh, it kind of makes sense, right? Because they say for you to be an actor, you have to start out in porn first, right? So wait, uh, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, hold on. Well, because, because if that's the case, Ku, I, there's a few people I have to I might have to look up and look oh. deep. Yeah, well, you're right. Uh, well, okay, Ku actually has a point because like because um what? they're because of Comic Cat, the their comet, they're like they're like the huge festival where they sell like like uh indie uh, manga. Like uh-huh. a lot of them a lot of it is like is is hentai. And so Ooh, a lot okay. of like so if you if you if you start like a popular like hentai group in uh-huh. like Comic Cat and you, you get famous through there, you can use that as connections, get to like to get like an etchy manga on like a magazine. Cause isn't cause isn't that how Fate State became popularized and went from Fate, well, Fate was Fate was a sex game. Yeah, it was right. originally what it was. Right. Like, these huh? these yep. are like these are like our mangas though. So they, they they drew them first, like like at the at at Comic Cat compared to compared to Fate State, which started as is just a sex game that they just sold. David, like, instead of just say draw, you should just say created. <laughs> it, it makes it sound like you know not as wrong. Not as wrong. <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah. Makes it sound more normal. Whatever. <laughs> okay. Because, you know, we're trying to normalize hentai. David. <laughs> hey, hentai is an art, okay? Yeah, mm-hmm. it is art. Parentheses. I Quote, mean, you wouldn't watch just any hentai. You'd only want the best of the best. So. Yeah, must makes, me. I'm just surrounded <laughs> by a bunch, bunch of degenerates. David, don't act like you're above us. I am. Join us. <laughs> okay, fine. I just wanted to mention, too, that, like, <clears throat> I know, like, uh, what was it? The like, how the hell they gotta make like calamari lose against potato salad? Oh god! Well, I know it's supposed to be rich, but so still, fast. like, yeah, Dude, like they went through that so fast. Like, I forgot that they didn't even do theirs. Like at the beginning of the episode, like when uh, they they started like introducing all these people, I'm like, oh man, the next round is gonna be rigged. I was like, wait, they're in the middle of this fucking round, and that that went by so fast. And then, 
Uh, but I think we all said that that he was going to lose, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah for okay. sure. I think even without like the new judges, he still was gonna lose. Yeah. Uh-huh. So do you guys still do you guys think Ishiki's gonna lose? Oh yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It seems like a majority of the time, like in this show, whoever whoever shows their food first is gonna lose. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even with the uh, the example or the metaphor that they were animating, like you got Ishiki, uh, like hitting on the first seed with like a fan, a paper fan. Float in the air, like what is that supposed to do against a knight in armor, right? <laughs> hey man, his, his armor was cracking. <clears throat> Noble yeah. Japanese spirit, all right. Yeah. Even Dude. if the armor cracks, it's fucking paper fan. What's that gonna do against a sword, a rapier? Yeah. It's an anime fan. It's uh, kind of sliced through the armor. God. Yeah, I would. Uh, I don't know. As much as like, like Ishiki is like one of my favorite characters, but it's just, I mean, I, I just can't see him winning. Yeah, um, he's not. He's not. I did that. Uh, Dude, they always bring up the, the the chick with the glasses. I never remember who she is. Like, I, I forgot. I always hear she's like the childhood friend, and she has been the lead. The lead yeah. Yep, childhood friend lost to Soma with uh, Soma, I think. But, but yeah. it's like, like I don't know. I just never liked her because they always. She's, I didn't care. She, has, yeah. she always has a bitch face going on. Yeah, even like after like this backstory, I, I still really don't care much for her. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, it was cool to see like Ishiki's like you know. Well, backstory, like, they, but... they try like they try like make like was it like. They, they, he tries to cheer her up, but it's like I I still don't really care about her. Yeah, like like these two rounds will have definitely be going really fast. Like even the backstory for Ishiki seemed like extremely rushed yeah. and fast. But it's just like at, at the same time, it's just like how you guys said like uh um Suka, uh the is the guy's name yeah Ishii? he's he's still Ishii, gonna win yeah. yeah I still think he's gonna win and it's just like oh, I don't yeah. know it's, and it's, it's just gonna be like <clears throat> Soma and Irina yeah Rindo I mean, and Ishii. Yeah, for Aaron and his dad, like I, I really don't know why they brought in two like random other chicks besides for fan service. Like, there's really no point in them. Yeah, because um, they they basically do oh, they do the cause, exact cause, same cause fucking like, job. Well, because like I'm pretty sure well, at least the blonde chick was in love with him, so like I'm pretty sure it's just another, like another way to make it to make it more biased. Yeah, they're they're both under him. His, yeah, uh, but, police. Yeah, but and, it's like, just like and yeah. the weird thing too is like that the grandpa like. But, uh, was okay with it, so I assume. So, so this is how this is how it's got predictable. It's got to go because the grandpa believes so much in Soma and Arena. Yeah, they got cook. They're cook an amazing dish that like that changes his mind, and he has to like be forced to like to rethink the whole thing or something. Yeah, yeah, it's, that's the only reason, right? Stupid, yeah, yeah, that's that's the only reason why they would put him it's, in. I think that's 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 like predictable number one. Predictable number two is like they actually lose, and then it's just somehow. Like a loophole, they can figure out to like to either redo or do something else. No, no, no. So, Soma's not gonna lose. That plot armor is too thick, man. <laughs> too we'll thick. See. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I, I bet know. you everyone's gonna lose though. Everyone's gonna lose. Soma's gonna win, and then Soma and Ringo's gonna fight. But then Ringo kind of just gave up, and then like Soma wins. I can see something where it's like a two v two, like right at the end, you know, kind of yeah. like a team battle. Because they're, kind of hint- they're they're hinting at that at the yeah. LP. How uh-huh. many episodes do we have left of this? Uh, oh, right, okay, never mind. They, they, they still haven't said, but I'll just assume twelve for yeah. now. I think, oh, I think um, this is gonna be split. Like it's gonna be this season, and then the next one will be. I think they will skip winter and either go spring or summer or something. I hope Jeez. not. That's such a long break. Real. <laughs> my mind, my simple mind, cannot keep up with that, man. Well, I mean, like I had trouble, like with. with this season at the beginning because that's what I'm saying. Because it's been a while since season three. <laughs> I didn't remember any of the characters. Yeah, but it's like for this arc as long as like his like just how like, how stupidly like everything kind of played out with the judges. It's just like I just don't really care as much anymore. It sounds awful, but uh-huh. that's, no, that's, it's, that's where it's that's like, where we are. This is just the downhill effect of shonen manga or fan service. I feel like if, there's, if they don't if they didn't force it so much, I think it would be fine, but it's really uh, yeah, it's for me. Well, I mean, it's no, like... besides besides the fan service, just just the whole this whole arc just like it's yeah. just, they, I think for... like it could have it could have been fine, but I think they just ruined the execution. Oh yeah. I think I think they just rushed it in general. Like they just Oh like, hell yeah. Like 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 cuz Irina's dad just came in so suddenly and he changed everything so much and yeah, like, right in the middle of the, of the round. And like they just they just did like just before that it just like they just did one part where he changed everything and then they they may get what maybe one shogaki to save themselves mm-hmm. and now it's like this final one. Uh-huh. So yep, 
and everybody's just like, yeah, that's fine. Just go ahead and do it. And it's just like, Ugh, okay, whatever. Yeah. But I'm ready to move know. on. Fuck the show. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, yeah. All right, so, according to Stratton, 